Welcome back for the Mobile Gaming Fanatics. My time here, this is Top Drives, and today's video is going to be focused on the LC2 finals. But before we get to there, a couple of things I'm going to mention. One of those being, if you do wish to enter my next competition, I will leave a link in the description below. My previous video, you want to leave a comment saying which two premium packs you'd like me to open, along with your prediction of which epic car you think I will get to give yourself a chance of winning a prize and all the other details will be in the description of my previous video so again please do not leave your entry on this video it will not be included now in terms of the event we can see by clicking on challenges we have some ready to rock and roll the main one being this tune up one here we've seen it recently with the tri-series they run like a little side challenge along with it where you can win a ceramic pack some other goodies cash you'll get a think maybe did you get a car in the last one like a specific sp specific car or something i can't actually remember to honest with you but i do know it has culminated with the carbon fiber which is what i'm really looking forward to a 2015 specific carbon fiber see if we can get something useful to help out in those finals and alongside over the weekend well and probably running into the majority of next week we have the off-road challenge we can see here ice drives so start working on those four broncos etc all those super rare off-road tire cars which you maybe haven't used now all those fords you've not really decided to get to grips with a few of those hummers as well because they're probably going to be needed for that challenge now apart from the lc2 we do have a lotus event going so i'm going to quickly touch on that it is going to be finishing soon but for anybody who's maybe just you know trying to see how they can do well in this finals or in this event in the final hours i am going to say you can't really do much apart from put out your most powerful evos and your most powerful non-uk um UK performance tire car that's pretty much it I don't have a Vulcan so I've gone my McLaren and three maxed out three maxed out Lotuses as well as the Lotus Evora because there is some drag in this track set and that's it still I say that Lotus 211 supercharged is the best Lotus in my opinion it just does everything if that makes sense it is just such a good car at being able to do kind of kind of everything pretty well now i don't actually know how i do against these people so i'm just going to come in and just show you one or two races with this team but this car it's it's the best in my opinion in terms of overall so for an epic car as well which means it's easier to upgrade than legendaries you only have to use ultra rares it's got traction control abs and it can just kind of it kind of goes everywhere if you need to use a lotus it's pretty much the first car i think i come to so for me this definitely definitely an mvp not just for this event but for lotus events in general now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw our lotus evora in here on the half mile that should be a victory we are going to throw our mclaren on the north loop and hopefully hopefully get a victory there because we do have slightly better handling although the the 12c has pretty decent mra uh, we can take a two ties and a defeat on the final trap but what i'm doing instead is i'm going to try and see if we can take a twisty circuit victory take the tie here and i know i'm going to lose in the fast circuit i do have that lotus as well to put in but it, it doesn't it doesn't help my hand i've not worked on it yet it just doesn't help my hand i have to jiggle too much stuff around so for me it stays in the bench now this will be interesting to match up we do get a slight victory here even though it's got a better top speed dx siege better for this twisty circuit so that gives us a 50 point lead we're going to lose that 50 points here oh wow wow Look, i know it's got better handling but there you go well there you go you learn something every day yeah that x siege i've not worked on mine either it's just it's it's one of those it's one of those poor cars which is stuck as a legendary but I don't think there's any reason why you'd actually want to use it. There are better legendary lotuses and there are other epic lotuses which can do the same thing, if not equally as well, better for a cheaper cost. So unfortunately it's one of those cars which I think just sticks in people's garages. Anyway, we'll try one more again. Let's just see if we can get a different track set up here. Um, is this a different track set? yes i believe it is so no it's the same one it's the same one isn't it i don't know I don't, it's the same one it's the same one yep so we can't beat the vulcan we can do okay everywhere else 
uh, tight. Let's just. This is the person we just played, wasn't it? Should we try someone else? Should we try someone else? I think I lose this with my Lotus because I've not worked on it at all. I think my Lotus just about loses here. So we'd have a loss, a loss, a win, a tie, and a win. So we tie it overall. Um, no point tying overall, is there? Okay, sorry. I'm just going to have to do this again. We'll skip it to the end. I was hoping to try and show you two different, two different people, two different track sets. But yeah, it doesn't make it, oops, it doesn't make any sense here for me to um, take the defeat because I can get a top two, which is just a little bit more cash. Okay, a little bit more cash, a bit more gold. Why not? Why not take it? It makes sense, correct? It makes sense. So we should we should be more than capable here of holding on to a top two. It's going to give us another ceramic pack. Going to give us another opportunity to get. An ultra rare and help me work on some of my cars that I'm using in the Lancia final. So let's dive into it. We can look very quickly at the prizes. We've got our regular carbon fibers as well as our two price cars for the top two tiers. We drop down to tier three and we see a Donker 4 added to that carbon fiber, a car that I've had and fused before. In my opinion, I don't see a reason really to hold on to it in my garage. So I would do the same again should I finish tier three. Tier four is the Spiker C8. Again, another car that I believe would end up going into my fuse pile, although the MRA on it isn't particularly, uh, isn't too shabby. Not a car that I would particularly be working on anytime soon. And then tier five gets us an Aston Martin Rapide, which would be a nice, easy fuse for me, and a carbon fiber. So I am going to be trying for the top two tiers, okay? That is the aim here. Now, because we're five and zero, don't read too much into that. That's just from obviously entering in and being able to play people before the ranking has actually been kind of sorted itself out. I do not feel that my team is good enough to make it into the top 10 at the moment. But you will notice I am using some standard tire cars. So that is because there is rain. So although my prediction wasn't 100% correct and I was thinking you would be, it would be good for you to use some kind of off-roady all-surface car especially when the ford edge sport was put out there this is probably because it's got four wheel drive all surface and i can see people using them in this event but for me it's only rain there's no dirt there's no it's not a speck of sand to be found anywhere it's just pure unadulterated rain so definitely going to be a place for some standard tire cars and four wheel drive but but because of the rain i don't think and it's got no other parameters on it for fast circuits, etc. I think you're just going to kind of take your fastest cars. Uh, I don't think you can get much of an advantage by using the standard tyre cars in those. You, you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So if we come in and we play the first race, first of all, the team I'm running at the moment, I do not have a maxed out McLaren. Okay, I've got two upgrades into it. So this is a place I can come and work on. I haven't maxed out the RS3 yet. We are one upgrade away from completing it. So I hope to get that done pretty soon, which is why I am hunting for ultra rares. We do have the maxed out Bentley, and that's pretty much the reason why it is in here for four wheel drive and it being maxed out. We haven't maxed out the Mercedes Benz CLS yet. I do not know if this car is going to get maxed out or not. I do not. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be swapping it. I've got to see how it performs. This may get dropped out for, and as you can see it here, the Audi RS7 Sportsback. My issue is I do not have the fuse materials at the moment to completely max out the car. So I may be better off keeping the Mercedes. And then finally, we've got the Caterham 7270 because when there's rain and we need something to do with um, twistiness, etc., this is my go-to car now i've gone for a 233 caterham which i'm pretty sure wins on the slalom which is why i have not put my one there i hope to i'd hope to beat the rs here because i am going to be lighter but i'm just i'm just not i'm just not sure got a lot more peak power and torque here hasn't it just not sure um so what i think i will do it's heavy it's heavy um i think i will um i need three win conditions here don't i hopefully 
one win condition. The twisty circuit would be two win conditions. This is definitely a defeat. This is definitely going to be a defeat. Am I better off switching this over here? Or do I take a risk with one of these two cars in the forest road? Forest road has a bit of a drag at the end. Okay, I'm going to try like this. I'm going to try this. Now, ideally, if I did have the RS7 maxed out, I would be bringing it in. Ah, it's bad excavations. Took the Bentley out. I honestly don't think this Bentley is going to help me too much in this in this event. It's not the kind of car you can put in and think, okay, that's going to win. So, possibly having two cage rooms. I, I know somebody, Mark, out there is going to be putting in two cage rooms. Yeah, I knew I lost this. So, here we go. The first defeat. And could it have been avoided? Possibly. Possibly putting in the, the McLaren on the first track set might have been better. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just have to... Maybe I have to see where I can improve. Now, obviously, the Audi is an option. Um, I could max out. But for now, for now, maybe the Hellcat is a better option. I mean, it's got traction control ABS. It's going to be lighter. N not a huge amount lighter. Or do I go with the Aurora? Again, take one of these kind of cars, work on them, put them in for the handing elements, for the twisty elements, for the slalom, because they're extremely light. Probably would give me an advantage. Then I would be running these two kind of cars in that situation. But what I'm going to try here, bear with me. This is this is kind of planning as we go. Okay, this is this is thinking out loud and working working with. Um, working with the tracks to see what's going to be the best overall but you twisty and twisty fast and kind of fast twisty and i can obviously do more work to this m760 so bear bear with it i know it's not going to compete at its best but i can get that down to three second 3.0 and up to 87 handling if need be so here we go here are the two cage rooms which isn't where i want to be Probably maxing out the Mercedes CLS will be a viable option as well. So to keep that, definitely going to do something like that. Okay, let's let's try this. This should be okay. This should be fine because we would have, in this example, in this example, okay, we would have the G-Force where we could use the Caterham. We're going to try. I just want to see how good the Evora is at the moment. I know it's got more work to be done on the mounting now the bmw we go one mile we go karting we'll put the bmw in the half mile so overall we should end up with a victory here we're gonna see again the rs7 there getting beaten by the k room definitely bring this car i do not have to see the top 10 to know that the majority of them are going to have one k room in there Potentially two. Okay, so we saw here that the 7360 was better than the Evolve. If the Evolve was maxed out, the Evolve would have won that. But just as I am now, not looking to max out that Evolve. Looks like I'm going to be better off leaving that out for the Mercedes anyway. So bringing that Evolve in isn't going to help too much. We do lose there. The Bentley probably would have given us a slightly better account of itself. Possibly would have won that. Um, and we get the victory here. Although it's all surface tire with SQ, just just the RS3. It's just lighter, quicker, slightly better handling. So, uh, I still am not convinced what my best hand is. Um, I am thinking about obviously not having particularly great great reserve of cars so although i've not used this lotus and i don't want to let me bring it in and see how this kind of how this goes because it is going to be fractionally fractionally better than the previous one and traction control ground let's let's just see um i feel if i've maxed out the 760 i feel 
Would it be better than the Bentley still? You know, I'm tempted to do something like this. Okay, right. Let's just put the Bentley in for now because I feel it's better than the BMW in its current state. Just just about anyway. So let's see. Right, uh if we come up as high as we can, what would happen here? We can get a victory, uh probably lose. Okay, so this looks like a hand we can beat. Now, from a slalom perspective, I think I'm better off to put a cage on the G Force. That should be a victory. Now, I know I'm going to do quite badly when it comes to slalom. So let's put in the Lotus because if we look here at the Porsche 1400 weight, at least the Lotus has the weight advantage on its side. 400 lighter, which will mean although it's going to lose. It should hopefully not be by much more than 50 points. So we're going to kind of cancel each other out here, which means we're going to try and win two of the last three. Now, I've got a victory here, but I'm trying, well, in this example, I've got two victories like this. But if this was a maxed out R7, then I would like to see how my McLaren did against it. Because. It might be worth me putting another upgrade into my McLaren. Just to make sure, just to give it that little bit of an edge. Not that it's going to win by more than 50 points, but it might, it might, 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 might make my life slightly easier when it comes to coming against some of the top people when I get higher up in rankings. Let's come in here and play this again. Uh, Dennis Knuck here. I think, I think we're in trouble. I think we're in a bit of trouble because we're going to struggle against the... R8, not sure how our McLaren will fare there with mid-range, but that is going to be the battle, I think. We could take it against... Uh, we're going to try, okay? We're going to try. We get the victory here, otherwise, and we could take the defeat here, but we're going to see. The Bentley's going to lose. We want to see how the McLaren does. Now, it's going to be interesting because we're going to have to do something like this. Mountain slalom-wise, it, it is really tempting to throw the Evora in there. Um, with the S8 plus we lose that I'm going to go this way because I want to see if I was right to max out the S3 instead rather than working on uh, the R3 rather than working on the R7 so this should get the victory here on a twisty one okay so not maxed out just better handling this the rs7 is just going to have better mid-range more powerful car but for twists and turns etc tracks like that rs3 is going to do it now we did come back against the audi which is good 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 nice to know nice to know um no we're going to lose this 50 point is fine i honestly thought we were going to lose that before with the with the i i wasn't sure so we know we got the defeat here now the aim oh no we lost overall i don't know why do i think there's another race to go um yeah i just just feel that i am i don't know i'm missing i'm missing a car aren't i that's about i'm missing a car i'm missing i'm missing a slot here i'd say like a a good car i feel i even need the maxed out RS7 sports back, which I can't really do. Maxing out the BMW again at the moment, I can't really do. But even if I did, even if this was my project and I tried to work on this, I don't think it helps me enough for the top. I, I honestly feel I potentially need a second Caterham 270, and that will be able to get me and, and another fast car. If I get that and I get another decent, fast, legendary for drags etc i mean i could put an exige in it and just try oh we get no i can put in a dodge charger and we get another catering 270 that that would be it i think that would be it that would probably be the improvement um just for this moment in time just for this moment in time we can pretend this is the 270 okay we'll pretend just pretend that's a 270 guys that's 270 i know we're not playing the top 10 but let's just come in and have a look so we've got two cars which can do the twistiness we've got two for the dragon fast circuit and then we've got our kind of hybrid rs which is going to go wherever now we can't put him here because he's going to lose but otherwise 
he could go there. So we have got Carton Circuit, Mountain Twisty Road, half mile. Good, 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 good. So we could do this. This would be our victory. We would have something going in here, um, which would this would be potentially our second catering room. Maybe this maxed out. This would be our two caterums. We would take the twisty road like this and we would put the McLaren in like this. Now, I think this kind of hand right we have lost there. And I don't think I could have done much about it, even if I improved one upgrade into the McLaren. Oh, so I didn't mean to skip it. I didn't mean to skip it, but we got the victory. So, yeah, I think that is where we go. I honestly think that is the best I can do at the moment. Running the McLaren, finish off the last upgrade into the RS3, try and run two Cajun 270s, and something else to round it out. Hope with a bit of power, maybe maybe a nice legendary i guess something that i can else i can put on the drags if i don't then i can just go with the the dodge let's have a look let's let's just have a very quick look now that we know we only have to give non price cars what would we be hoping for i suppose different store would be great um don't really need dra i've just seen the car's not going to do good enough on drags so you want the Koenigsegg, either the two eggs or potentially either the two Lamborghinis, I think would be the kind of upgrades which would be helpful. Everything else isn't really something that I think is going to make too much difference. As we scroll down, are there any other legendary that I'd really, really want at this moment in time for this event? I mean, Epic, sorry. No, not really. Um, any other ultra rare with standard tires that I'd be interested in getting? Don't think the C350E is going to help me that much. I might as well keep the the Merc I've already got on standard. We want something quite light, so it does look like it's the K2 and 270. Now I didn't really want to open packs, but I think we are going to give it a spin. Okay. We are going to see if we can get a legendary car to improve our final sound. Because I honestly do believe this is a great finals car. I believe it is one worth winning. So, let's see. Can we get a... Okay, a Mercedes AMG. I want to get a 270. If I don't get a 270, I want to get a legendary. That's what we're after. Don't really want any of the epics. So, I don't want to get epics from this... I want to get either a legendary that I can use or an ultra rare. I do not have any need for epics at the moment. So to be useful, okay, the K2M 7360. Again, I would be probably using that as fuse. We want to try and get the standard tires k here. Come on, guys. I don't want to do more than three. I want to keep it a three for now. Try my luck with the free carbon fiber pack as well. I don't want to be too far outside the top 10. See if we can get a car. Can we get one of those cars? No. Okay. So I've taken three ultra rares. That will give me the upgrade at least. But it hasn't given me the car that I want. I haven't got that catering. Do I want to go for... Should we stop at four? I was going to catch about five. Five is the limit. I can't believe I've done this. I wanted to hold on. I've been holding on to this gold so long. Come on. Come on, catering. Okay. Come on, Caterham. Caterham! Oh, I don't. I've already got the epic one. I might as well work on rather than that. Right, last last chance here, guys. Last chance for the time being, anyway. I mean, I could pull one of these cars and still not be anywhere near the top 10. So, we will have to see... Oh, I had the wrong Caterham. So, no luck from those packs. I'm going to leave it there. Very sad to see all that cash just drain away well i've got to go and work on a few of those cars over the course of the evening 
and tomorrow I will bring you an update on Sunday before the end of the event to see if we have a chance of that top 10. Don't forget you can always let me know in the comments section how you're getting on. If you found anything with my lineup that you think could improve me, please do tell me. Always willing to learn. If you need any help, any advice in your own setup, again, feel free to ask. Always willing to help. I've been my time. Thank you very much as ever for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Enjoy your weekend, people. I will be back on Sunday. Take care. See you all soon.